It's been good, you served your purpose, but it's time for a farewell for the semi-stretched Accelera VRs with the 205 5016s. What's going on everybody? Today's agenda is gonna be fun because I've actually been waiting for this for a while. So the current tires I have right now, like I mentioned earlier, are just a little bit bubbly and rounded and semi-stretched look, which is not the look that I'm going for and it really personally wasn't really my style so I'm gonna be going to change the tires on this car right now to a more meaty setup that I always am more used to so I'm pretty excited with that and I'm hoping that it would fix the gap between the tires to the fenders and therefore like not having to lower this car even more so let's see how it's gonna look I'm gonna go to AR tire in Fremont right now and just see how well the tires will look and handle on this car. All right guys, so we got finally the Achilles 2233 tires finally installed. Looks really good. More of the square look that I'm going for and I'm used to. So as you can remember in the beginning of the video, the Accelera VRs that I had, which was 205-50-16s, were more rounded in and had like that semi-stretch look, which I'm not really used to, I'm not a huge fan of, just personal taste. But with these, these are the Achilles 2233 and 215-50-16s. So, I read in the forums, they're actually not really common to run on the Andy Miatas. So, a lot of people were either running 205-50-16s, which is what I had previously, or 225-45-16s. So I figured, throw a little uh, taste of how 215 looks. I don't really rub. The only time I would is actually in the front. The rear is good. It has a slight little camber in it, if you can see. But I did have the rear fenders rolled, so it might help a lot with that, or due to that reason. I did book a appointment for an alignment, so I believe I'm going to have to have the front tires hammered and more, like negative, just because it's rubbing just a tiny bit on the fender lines and like on uh, just really big dips. Otherwise, on like full lock, if I turn full lock to the left or right, it's a little bit of a rub, but it's not terrible just inside like the fender liner right here. So at least it's there still, so I'm glad. Otherwise, I know some of the tires just literally shave off the fender liner, but so far so good, everything's still intact. I just really like how meaty the sidewall looks. It has a little bit of a round um, up here, which is not like terrible compared to what I had before, so I don't really mind too much. And as far as grip goes, it did really well on like sharp corners, and I actually did test that just to see, you know, if there's any tire squeals, which was very, very minimal. I think sway bars will really help with that. Give you guys one more view here of how the fronts look. So I honestly feel like the fronts stick out a little bit more than the rear, but that's why I'm gonna have the front a tiny bit cambered in more. That's therefore it'll help with like rubbing and stuff. The rears have a good little tuck to them, but I think because they're cambered, because you can see it from here, it's a little bit in the negative side already. So alignment should fix that. And if it doesn't, I might have to have the front fenders rolled. Otherwise guys, she's coming along really well. Probably sway bar upgrade next. And for sure the brakes need to go. So rotor change or upgrade, I should say. Uh, brake pads and lines and I think that'll really just set the trick for this car. One last thing I forgot to mention is <laughs> I actually got new wheels and it's kind of funny because I mentioned this now towards the end of the video but these are the Rota Grid V's. Originally these were in bronze and it just didn't really look too good in my opinion so I went ahead and actually powder coated these to a gloss black uh, outer lip with a mag blue face as well as inner barrel so it's kind of hard to tell because it's a little bit dusty inside but the process was pretty tedious according to my friend who powder coated these what he said he had to do was blast the whole thing in mag blue first and then re-blast uh i guess or re-sand uh that like the outer lip 
and masks the face to do the gloss black. So it was a very time and heat sensitive job, but he was able to get the job done. I would drop his Instagram down below, but he did a really good job and I'm happy with how it came out. And his pricing was pretty good. But he is located in Stockton and he was one of the best ones recommended for Bay Area, so pretty happy with how they came out. And I figured this is a very unique job because not a lot of people get this kind of two-tone or two-color uh, powder coating job done. Otherwise, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as updates on this car goes, the FD did get a nice coil pack upgrade and it had an issue to where there was an RPM fluctuation. So if I put my foot down on the pedal, it would only go between 1.5, which is idle, to 3,000 RPM. So I'll explain in the next video about that. But as far as this card, that's pretty much it. Any other things, any other upgrades, of course, I will update you guys on that. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys later, and I will keep you guys updated as always. See ya.